Hey everyone, thanks for watching. Today we're trying out a bunch of new red lip products that I love. I also got the new Pat McGrath Crimson Contour Lip Kit. This has, I believe, Elsin 3. I want to say it's the name of the lipstick and then also a red liner in it. And it's supposed to be really, really good. I've seen a lot of reviews about it and everyone is like loving this red lip combo. You guys know I love Pat McGrath. I'm a huge fan of all of her products. Her glosses are my favorite thing from her line. Like the glosses are just unmatched. I think I do have Elsin 2 and this lipstick was Elsin 3. So we're gonna do some comparisons. But I just felt like why not show you guys all of my favorite red lipsticks. So let's just go ahead and get right into this video. This was my very first red lipstick that I've ever purchased. And this one was super iconic because RuPaul actually did the promo for this one. So RuPaul was the very first ever Viva Glam girl. And here's what it looks like. So you guys can see it's red, but it's definitely muted. So I would encourage anyone that's kind of scared to wear red, but you want your first like red shade to get this. Like this helped me to ease my way into being able to wear red out. A beautiful color. Still to this day, I wear Viva Glam One. This is the NYX liner and new truffle that I always wear and just clear MAC lip glass. super cute like muted red shade really pretty color definitely for you girls who might be scared to try out more of a bolder red but you do want to try red I think this one is really cute it's not super bold so I definitely love this one and you guys saw that I applied this without a liner so you don't necessarily need a liner for this. And Winnie Harlow recently did like a 20th anniversary um, do-over of RuPaul's promo for this. So you guys should check it out if you haven't seen it. This is the perfect starter red, beginner friendly red. I'm sure you guys have seen Ruby Woo at this point, but this is like the goat of all reds. I feel like this just might be the most popular red of all time. Ruby Woo, the original like matte red lip. So I'm gonna show you guys that also. Ruby Woo is definitely like a universal red lip. Okay, the next red we're gonna try on is actually my favorite red lipstick right now. And this one was from the MAC and Selena collection. It is a matte lipstick, but it's not as dry as Ruby Woo. And I actually wore this out when I was in Vegas recently. I loved it so much. But how cute is this one? This is the Max Selena lipstick. I love this one right now. And I really love it because it has like a frost shimmer look to it. So it kind of looks like I have gloss on without having gloss on. This is like the perfect combo of Ruby Woo and the Viva Glam one. Like it has that muted dark red to it, but it's still bright. You make sure you go check out this Selena review if you haven't seen it. But I just talked about how much I don't like usually wear reds out in public because they're so bright on me. But this one I love. Super pretty deep red gloss. Still get that deep bright red without using a lipstick. 
So the lip kit from Pat McGrath I have, and the lipstick is in the shade Elson 3. So before I show you guys this one, I want to show you Elson 2 so you can see the difference and make the comparison. They are similar, but Elson 2 to me is more of a warm shade. So here's Elson 2, definitely our brightest one yet. As you guys can see, it's more of an orange red, like coral red type of shade, super bright, and I love it. I would definitely wear a liner with this one, but still really into it. I love the brightness, the effect that it gives. I also have a lip gloss from her. This is in the shade Blood 2. So I'm guessing that the liner in this kit is gonna be similar to this. Do you like this one better or do you like fruit snacks better? It's a tough one for me. I got lipstick everywhere, but I don't know. This one is tough because I really like this one too. I think this tone might be a little closer to Ruby Woo. Let's go ahead and try the new Pat McGrath in Elson 3. Oh, that is pretty. That's like a perfect, cool undertone red. The first thing that I noticed about this one is it's so comfortable. It feels like kind of a thin, moisturizing balm. But you see, you still get that like brightness. I love it. I think it's like Ruby Woo, but a little bit more warm tone. I don't know if I would consider this one a matte. It's a little bit more moisturizing than a matte. And I really wanted to show you the lip without the liner first, but here's the liner. And then here was the lip. So you guys can see really close in the shade. It's so pretty. I love it. I love the brightness of it. It's definitely like Elson 2, but a little warmer, a little darker. I saw on Pat McGrath's channel, she added this gloss on top of this lip, and it was like everything. I think I have a picture of it I'm going to add in here for you guys. But it was so pretty. So this is Alien Gelic Gloss. You guys can see pink and purple iridescent. It's definitely looking like the picture. I didn't know if it was gonna be as bright. Super cute, it adds like a nice pop of like a highlight with the pink in the center. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Let me know what else you would like to see. And also if you were feeling the new Pat McGrath lip kit and I will see you guys in my next video.